Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and I know some of you guys might be wondering, oh, where's the funny moments that you promised us? I want to try to get that on Wednesday. They take a long time to make, but today I still want to talk about competitive, more specifically about competitive CTF. So still some toxicity, still some saltiness, and still some frustration that you can feel. Uh, but the reason why I want to talk about competitive CTF, especially right now, is because as you guys know, the Chinese New Year event is a four week long event. And well, this week is the fourth week so competitive CTF and the skins and the whole entire event will be ending but like I mentioned before competitive CTF is only going to be playable during the Chinese New Year now the reason why I wanted to make today's video is because well there hasn't been anything from the Overwatch team from Daddy Jeff from anybody confirming that they're going to be keeping competitive CTF as a permanent part of Overwatch now the reason why I wanted to make today's video is because as you guys know last year they did keep capture the rooster as a permanent game type or just a permanent playlist for everyone to play. Usually whenever a new event comes out, there's always some sort of like game type or just playlist that's always permanent. You can't always go back and play it like Junkenstein's Revenge or Mace Snowball Offensive, but they capped Capture the Rooster from last year because it was a big success. Now, as far as I'm aware, it seems like a lot of people in the community of Overwatch just love competitive CTF because they, first of all, they fix a lot of problems from Capture the Rooster, but also on top of that, they just add a competitive playlist. Now, I know some people aren't always a big fan of competitive but the difference between competitive CTF and just regular competitive overwatch is that it doesn't have that stressful factor yes competitive overwatch can be fun but it always has that like stress factor it's like oh my god my SR is dropping my rank it's permanent this is gonna affect me months on end but competitive CTF it really doesn't have that factor because if you lose it's not gonna really affect you down the line like to your permanent SR from six months from now because quote-unquote it's tied to the Chinese New Year Event. But what if they were to add competitive CTF into the regular rotation of competitive Overwatch? Like when you go into competitive Overwatch, you have a chance to either play control maps, hyper maps, or capture the flag. That's what today's video I want to discuss about because, again, I, I don't make up the whole entire community. And I do want to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you want competitive CTF to make a return as a permanent playlist into Overwatch like they did with Capture the Rooster last year? Because clearly, I love Capture the Flag. I've been a big advocate for for it for adding it into Overwatch because I played it a bunch in Halo, I played it a bunch in Call of Duty, and it works in those game in those video games. So I don't see why it wouldn't have worked out in Overwatch. Well, lo and behold, it finally came and it came back better than ever in a competitive playlist. Now moving forward with competitive Overwatch and just the idea of adding on to it, we've had the basic Overwatch playlist and nothing being added, but we've had two different game types have a competitive side. Obviously, it being Lucio Ball and right now capture the flag. Now a big reason why I didn't want Lucio Ball to be added into the rotation of competitive is because it's not Overwatch. It's Rocket League but just with an Overwatch skin. It's still fun. Don't get me. I, I love competitive Lucio Ball. I had a blast with it but it doesn't have that same 6v6 work together as a team. You have an objective type style. It really doesn't. Your three Lucios booping a ball around. It's When you go into competitive you should try to work together as a team or just whoever has the better skill is going to win most of the time. People will try to argue that. Lucio Ball, is that's just for fun with competitive ranks add to it. But competitive CTF takes that same competitive idea that Overwatch has had since day one of competitive and just gave it a new objective, which is capturing the flag. Something that we've seen before in many different types of video games, like I mentioned before in Halo, in Call of Duty, and in freaking real life. I guarantee you, if capture the flag was a permanent game type since day one of Overwatch, since the launch, since beta, people would not be freaking out. People will not be batting an eye because first of all, we've seen it work in Overwatch. Sure, they needed to tweak it around a little bit to make it work, but uh, clearly it works with the hero roster. But secondly, we've seen this before in other video games before. It would just be another playlist that we know how to play just now in Overwatch. So that's why I feel like people are just a little bit uneasy with competitive uh, capture the flag being added permanently is because we haven't seen it before. No different, no game type is been added in competitive or just straight up even in Overwatch in general. Yes, there are different mixes and whatnot, but nothing of this caliber where it still has that same 6v6, better team wins usually, and you have different team comps, different heroes that you can pick. However, that doesn't mean there aren't negative things that come with adding competitive CTF into Overwatch. Then the biggest and really only negative thing that I can think of is the fact that there's still a hard, hard meta. There are certain heroes that you have to play to more than less win the game. 
name. That being a Lucio, Symmetra, a Rohrog, sometimes a Torbjorn, a May. Overall, there's at least three heroes that you pretty much just have to play all the time just to win. Whenever it comes to Overwatch, yes, there are sometimes a meta, but heroes like May, heroes like Symmetra, and heroes like, you know, any type of hero can work in regular competitive just as long as you're good and whoever, and like I said before, whoever has the better skill in competitive Overwatch usually is going to win. That can sometimes come from off-meta heroes. In, ca in Capture the Flag, you might have the better skill, but if you don't have the right team comp, sometimes you won't win. So overall, I think that's like the biggest negative whenever it comes to competitive CTF being added into the rotation of just regular competitive. But I don't think that one negative should keep the conversation out, out of the picture, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, like I said, no game types have been added into competitive Overwatch. This could be the first of its kind, and... It wouldn't be too out of the ordinary. It just comes with a lot of things that we need to worry about, and I feel like I brought all those arguments to the table. Now it's just up to you guys. I do want to hear guys' thoughts. Do you want competitive CTF to be added into the rotation and separate playlists, whatever? Or do you think it should just be part of the Chinese New Year event and just leave it in the past, and every single year we can get competitive CTF back again? I would like to hear your guys' thoughts. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come, and bye.